Today I'm going to be walking you through the derelict lighthouse dungeon and I'm going to show you how to get the lighthouse keepers ring and the sparkfire shotgun. The sparkfire shotgun is my favorite weapon from the Awakened King DLC in Remnant 2. It is definitely my favorite weapon from the DLC and it's pretty easy to get and I'm going to show you guys how to do so. But first let's take a look at it. The sparkfire shotgun, I've already boosted it to 20 of course. This thing fires incendiary shells that apply burning so I'm going to show you guys what that looks like and you can also put another mod on it so say we put overflow on it and then we have uh, fetid wounds on here that's going to be giving it corrosive damage so we're going to be doing corrosive shock and burning so that's pretty freaking amazing for the ritualist all right guys we are out in the main area of Lawsome this is a nightmare mode and I'm going to show you guys what this gun looks like first of all let's do our oh my gosh that skill for the ritualist <laughs> is so good. But that's not what we're talking about in this video. In this video, we are talking about this shotgun. And I'm showing you guys kind of how this works. If you can get the corrosive on them, it is even crazier. Here, we'll put our shock rounds on. Look at this with the ritualist spreading all the elemental. It's actually really, really nasty. One of my favorite weapons, my favorite weapon from... The DLC. It's a really awesome gun to take advantage of the singed ring since this is multiplicative damage and this gun is always applying burning. When you enter the derelict lighthouse dungeon there's going to be an injectable before you actually get to the lighthouse part so for those check out my Lawsome all injectables video if you're not sure how to recognize those or get those done. There are a couple from the DLC that aren't in that list but I plan to make videos on those soon but this guide is going to start from this small checkpoint here. This is where the actual lighthouse portion of the dungeon begins and the new content for the DLC. Obviously you can get a new injectable like I said, but this is what you want to look for to get these two items that I'm talking about. So after the small checkpoint, you want to make your way over to this little farmhouse area, this big house right here, and you're going to find two aberrations, Thunder Piercer and Gore Carver. These two guys are going to come at you at once and there are some pretty brutal modifiers out there so make sure you're prepared and ready to take these guys down. Hexer, Hexer is one of the absolute craziest modifiers out there. But luckily we are in co-op. Once you kill both of these aberrations you're going to get the lighthouse key which is a quest item in your inventory. After you get that quest item, you're going to want to make your way to the lighthouse. You'll be able to see the light at the top of it shining brightly and it's basically at the end of the dungeon. It's really hard to miss. Make your way across the very long bridge until you get to the entrance of the lighthouse. Once you do, instead of going all the way up, now you can actually run this both ways. You can start at the top and go down or vice versa. But what we did is go around to the left side here and there's actually a little cave dug out that you can drop down in and it'll lead you straight to a door. This is where we're gonna find the shotgun. Now, before we get to the shotgun, you're gonna have to inspect the lighthouse key because it won't fit in that door. You can't unlock the door with the current state of the key. So you're gonna want to interact with the lighthouse key to flip the handle which then allows you to use it in the basement door and we're going to use that key down there to open this door and once we go in you're going to see the nice shiny shotgun sitting there waiting for you to pick it up This looks interesting. So that is our first item from the lighthouse dungeon. Next, you're going to make your way up top and I'll show you the path here. You're going to make your way up a couple ladders and stairwells and stuff just to get to the very top. It's going to put you out to where we were originally to the entrance of the lighthouse. So that's why I was saying you could do this either way. And then once you enter the lighthouse, you're going to go up again up to the top where you see the door, the second door here. And you're going to notice that your lighthouse lighthouse key doesn't fit in this lock so a lot of people probably thought it was a one and done and you had to re-roll for the other door however you can just go into your inventory and flip the lock 
back, flip the handle back. So interact with that lighthouse key quest item again. And that is going to allow you to get into the second lock at the top of the lighthouse. Now, once you've flipped it both ways, the lighthouse key is actually going to be removed from your quest inventory. Going into the second door at the top is going to allow you to get the lighthouse keeper's ring way up at the top. The lighthouse keeper's key automatically generates three mod power per second for each entity within 10 meters suffering from a negative status effect, max five stacks. And then once you interact twice with that lighthouse key, you are no longer gonna have that lighthouse key quest item in your inventory anymore. So it's very important that you use it before you lose it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that guide for the lighthouse dungeon. Go out and get the shotgun. It is it's so much fun. It is such an amazing, amazing weapon. Also, the Ritualist starts with it if you create a new hardcore character or a new character, which is absolutely insane. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.